be showing you how to do a watercolor technique um, using a plastic wrapper, or you can also use like a plastic um, little small Ziploc or storage bag as well. And so um, last week I showed you guys some of the um, new items from the, and these are just a few of them, from the Illustrated Faith All People All Nations collection. And so today I'm gonna to show you how I'm using those, but first I wanna show you the, the watercolor technique that I used for the background of my entry, and then we can, um, I'll show you my Bible and what it looks like. So, for the watercolors that I have, Dayspring sent these to me a long time ago, and um, I absolutely love them. They come in this little metal tin case, and then when you open it, you've got your brush in here that you can um, travel with and it just grows together. And then all of your paints are right here. You've got little palettes where you can do mixing if you need to. And so these colors are very deep, rich colors. Um, I have used the Crayola set and that was a nice beginner set, but this was really nice for rich, deep, um, vibrant colors as well. So. Um, think about that. I will leave a link down to this and the other products that I um, show you today in the description, okay? So, I've got a scrap piece of paper here that I'm going to be using to show you what I'm doing in my Bible, but just on this instead. I like to have an old rag. You can see I've used this for painting a lot, and I like to just have that nearby if I need to wipe my brush on it. Also, I've got a heat gun. Um, this is nice if you're wanting to speed up the process because if you're gonna layer your watercolors, you do not want to um, put another color on top of another one when it's wet and then the colors blend and you don't have the right color. So I like to use this to dry in between. And then of course, I have my paintbrush. I just have a basic simple brush, nothing fancy, and a little cup of water. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I wanna emphasize and say, I always say this with watercolors, less is more with the water. If you get too much water, especially on a Bible page, you're gonna soak right through. Um, it's gonna be a mess. So, less is always more. Let me go ahead and show you. This is kind of the same color scheme that I did in my Bible. So I just dip my brush in the water, kind of knock off any excess that I have, okay? Then I go to my um, clear wrapper and this wrapper that I got is actually one that I got some of these uh, Paper pieces that came in it. So when you buy things from Illustrated Faith then they have the wrappers or you buy stickers or anything really um, At the store and it has this just hang on to these and save them. You can reuse them But I find it's nice um, to just have extra on hand different sizes So you can use it for this technique and for other things as well. Okay, so Let's go ahead and I'm gonna move these up out of the way just a little bit. All right, and let's, we got a little bit of water on there. And then I like to put that water on the plastic. And I'm um, not sure if you can see that, but I do not have, there you can see, I do not have very much water at all. I may put just a little bit more and kind of swirl it. The way you swirl it, you'll see the water goes and runs in different patterns, and that's gonna help give you a different design on the paper as well, so you'll see what I mean. And then take your brush, if you need a little more water to dip, and then dip it onto the color, and you just get a little bit on there, and then swirl it around in the uh, water. So you can't really see it a whole lot. I'm trying to show you if, you, if I can but I need some more color so you can see better. And there we go. This is that bright aqua turquoise color that I really like. And I think you can now, um, let's see if I do it over the white. Yeah, now you can see. So just scribble that around, okay? Then take it and directly go straight to your page. You just flip it right over and mash it down. And then depending how you swirl it or mash it will depend on what kind of effect you get. So this one, I've really went all over it. And I ended up with a very um, cloudy, like cotton candy type of watercolor, okay? So let's do some more with this color so that I can show you another effect that you could get, okay? So we just put some more water, get more of the color in it, okay? And so for this one, 
when I go to put it down, I'm not gonna rub it all in as much as I did with the first one. I'll show you right over here. I just put it like that and then you can see, let me pick this up where you can see it a little bit better. See how it's just kind of a splattering where it wants to um, and running in lines? That's exactly what I want. And then I'm just gonna quickly try to pick that up off of the page. And now you're left with a lot of excess. If you can see those little excess puddles that are right there. So when I take the heat gun and dry it, I can run those colors into streaks and give it another effect. And let me show you that real quick. Okay, so doing it that way, it also dries it quickly and it leaves the colors a lot more brighter than what you see over here. That's a very, very pale translucent backdrop. This is gonna give you a lot more of the watercolors, maybe splashes, which is something I usually like more is this because I like the more bold color, okay? So I've got that one. I'm gonna show you now that it's dry, how I add another color on top of it to blend it. Um, and then if you have any extra water on your cloth or on your wrapper. I just take the washcloth, wipe that off so it's a blank slate, and then just start again, okay? So this time let's get, if you want, you don't have to rinse your brush out because you're gonna have similar colors. If not, rinse that brush out, dry it off. Get a little bit of water down on your wrapper again. And this time I'm going to go with a, a blue color And I think you'll be able to see that blue. Let me get more of the blue because I really love these two colors together, especially if you're doing water. And this, um, these two color combinations work great with the collection that I'm gonna show you. So that's why I really recommend this um, watercolor set as well. All right, so now I'm just gonna go straight over the um, green that I've already done and just add more blue. And let me go ahead and dry that. Okay, so now that it's dry, I'm gonna pull it up here close to where you can see it better. That is the effect that you end up getting. Um, I absolutely love it. I love blending different colors and trying them together. And when you get finished and you add all your, of your stickers and other things on top, you'll see what a really pretty backdrop that that is going to give the whole page. So um, that's all there is to it. You are just putting, again, a little bit of water on the wrapper, then adding a little bit of the color with the watercolor, and then just flipping it over. And then, see, I still have a little more here. I could go back and add that to the page and there you have it and I just added that very simple okay there's no taking it trying to figure out and get a perfect little pattern and every time may be different which is what I think is pretty fun about it is that you'll get a different effect every time depending on your water and how much color okay so let's move this scrap paper out of the way and I'm gonna bring my Bible over and I want to show you my finished page and what it looked like, okay? So, now, here is the finished page that I did um, using the new set that they have, the um, All Things, All New Collection, or not, yeah, All People, All Nations Collection. I'm sorry about that. And so, this is what mine looks like with the watercolor on the backdrop. I used the same um, colors that I just showed you and did the same kind of thing. I did a lot of the um, green first, then let it dry, blended it in with some of the blue. And I have that all the way basically around the scripture so that you can still read it. 
and I just think that it turned out perfect. It actually goes great with all of the supplies that come in that collection. So I'll have a video to that collection below. Make sure you check it out. They comes with scrapbook paper packs. Some of the pages in it have these little cutout cards and that's where I got this card from that has these really pretty colors of um, the world and the map. And then on the back, they all have a different design. So you can use that. I just put it in with washi so you can still read the scripture. And then on the back side, when you flip it, there's still a lot of pretty color there that you really don't have to decorate, okay? Um, just to give you a quick glance or sneak peek and then check out that video. This was one of the sticker pages that came with it. I used stickers off of this. I also used some of the little paper pieces that came with it. You can use those. The washi came with it, has a lot of those blue and green colors that I used for my watercolor. So I liked how that all matched really well. Um, also, you will see some of the other new items that they have. This comes from their basics collection and these are both new. I used some of these are the clear stickers and I used some of the cardstock stickers with the little words and phrases. I used those to add little extra pops of color, which match great with the colors that they have. And so that is all I did. Um, it doesn't take long to do it at all. Once you get the watercolors on there, dry them. And drying it sometimes is what takes the longest because you don't want to put another color on it if it's still wet. Once you've done that, it's just about adding the little details, which I really like. Um, one other thing they did send me, and you'll see I used these colored pens to um, emphasize my scripture right here. And those come in um, a pen pack that they have. You get five colors. These are the colors that you get. I'm also showing you these in the other video, so check that video out. Um, one more thing that I wanna add, well, several things. To add detail to the page, I went back through with a white acrylic paint and the end of a paintbrush and just stamped white dots or little crosses to add some um, little color. If you notice, they have little dots on some of the paper pieces, so that tied in with that. Um, those are some of the clear stickers. These are some more of the stickers that came with the kit. Um, of course, I went ahead and put the date with my date stamp, um, added some flags, and that made my tab right there. Stapled on the flag with a little um, Tim Holtz tiny attacher, and then added some journaling. Now, when you open this, um, there's plenty more room for journaling, which I will probably go back and add because I just don't really like that it's that empty. But for now, it works, okay? So, if you have any questions, please just let me know in the comments below. I'd be glad to help you out. Um, check out that other video showing you the new collection, All People, All Nations, if you're interested. I've also got some of the basics that are new to show you. Um, and so, a huge thank you to Dayspring for sending me all of those so that I could play around with them. Check out this watercolor set as well. I really do love the vibrant colors. I've mixed the colors and they work really well together as well. Um, so that's another good thing to put on your wish list, okay? And if you have any questions again, let me know, and I will see you guys again very soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.